I know you're probably tired of answering this question and everybody that answer you this question and everybody, but this is the big, 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 big show. And and so that one photo with Tupac, the one photo, right? With with Tupac. And me or big? You and Tupac. And it's in the middle of the whole entire when I see it, I'm just like, what the f is this, right? And I know you're tired of probably answering this, but this is the big show. This is probably the last time you ever got to answer this. What was that about? That like, w w was the beef on already, or or that was before the beef? You know. Well, correction, I never have to answer it if I don't want to. However, I don't oh, have no, a you ain't gotta <laughs> I don't have a problem ever, you know. Um yeah, you ain't got the answer. You know. However, when I met Tupac, I was actually in LA um trying to get trying to get work as a writer. I was out here writing with a producer and his new group and you know, kind of staying with them in their apartment. And we just happened to go out that night to the Hollywood Athletic Club. This it, this was like between my first and second album. And I remember this was shortly after I was told that Mary wanted her voice off of my record, which the, we did that song together on my first album. So I was just, I was confused. I didn't, it was a lot that I didn't really know as far as the dynamics with why that happened. At that time, I do recall, um, you know, and Big and I were, you know, not, not in the greatest place, but I recall him kind of, they used to get like crank calls and people hanging up and stuff like that. But you gotta, you know, you know back then it wasn't like now. Everything wasn't real time. So it wasn't like if that happened, it might take a month for you to see somebody say something in a magazine or they may not go on the radio in your city right away. You know what I'm saying? So it took a minute for things to make their rounds to kind of seem a little more believable or accurate or, you know, or, or you got to hear from that the person themselves said it than today. So, yeah, there were mumblings of things, but I was out here trying to do something opposite of kind of bad boy you know i was trying to not be around big because he was on some bull but at the same time i was out here <clears throat> to make money as a writer and that had nothing to do with tupac whatsoever that was really just a chance meeting the, at a club actually tretch who i knew already was with him that night and that's who actually came and made the introduction so yeah but but you do know let's call that a picture gone bad like, mm -hmm. like I've been in a picture gone bad. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a picture gone bad. Like, you know, and um, and you know, just so much like speculations, and it's just overpowering. Uh, you in this, you in this, in this, in this turmoil, man. It was, it was just too much. I think uh, with with you guys. Well, we but let me let me just interject for a moment because you got to in that moment there was no way me thinking that I met him would lead to anything. You know what I mean? Like in that moment that that uh was any there was no reason for me to think anything further than that particular moment. You know what I'm saying? I know faith but what I'm saying without you knowing he Tupac rest in peace turn that picture into the first line of the diss record. Well, listen, I just recently found out from doing a project for TV that the photographer who took that picture was paid to make sure he got a picture with us in it together. I just found this out 20 some years later on everything. Like they, they said, the guy said he's had to live with that forever because once they found out I was there, he was told, instructed, to make sure he got a photograph, but I probably would have taken the picture anyway. I called Big right away. I was like, I'm not your friend. You know, Big really thought felt like that's his homie. So I didn't feel like it was like I'm like, I'm not your friend Tupac. I didn't think really anything of it like that. So yeah, until man. we saw these articles and things were be, you know, were actually coming to seem like they were actually a little more true that he felt that way because you got to remember big didn't want to believe you know he didn't understand 
He's like, there's no way he could really think that. There's no way he could feel that way. So. Yeah, and uh, and so damn man, uh, that was the moment in hip hop, huh? And then and then you gotta you you uh, a moment. <laughs> yeah, I've had many. <laughs> That's easy, easy for you to say. <laughs> no, nah, I've had my moments. I've had my moments. <laughs> like, I mean, you, that led to way more than a moment, but you know, God, God built me right. <laughs> yeah, man, because you know, Alicia Keys came on here, and I use this line all the time, and I said, Alicia. What Grammy, what song, what money, what house? What is your greatest accomplishment? And she says, my greatest accomplishment is staying sane mm -hmm. in this business. And this is the type of shit, you know, if we could cut through the air, this is the shit you talking about on here. It's staying sane. Right. Like, you know, you. so that's why I tell you, when I started outside looking at your interviews, and I said, you've been through a lot. You know what I mean? I've been through a lot. My best friend died. My sister the same week. I went through depression for two months straight, seeing the therapist. Like, I know when somebody has been through a lot, and I still can't imagine it because, you know, you, you were born in this game into, like, hip-hop royalty. Like, you, you know, it's, it's hip-hop royalty. And all these things happen. You lose your husband at a young age. You know, you got to deal with all this years and I really got to commend you for staying sane <laughs> no Thanks. that's real talk I mean you know I, I like I said God knew what he was doing because I don't you know I know that you know even even in the not so great times every lesson is still a blessing you know oh yeah that's a fact that's how I look at that uh, all the times whether it's good or bad you know, I always say, this is my line, my quote. It said, let your darkest moments bring your most clarity. Mm. This is a fat Joe quote. And it's because that's when you know where your true friends are. That's, that's when you know what you built up. That's, you know, with Bob us back in the days that we've been, now we shake that off like it's nothing. Like now we like, oh no, like, <laughs> we don't did that one already. Like, <laughs> we like, right. oh no, what they coming? They still coming with that, that type of. Shit. <laughs> they My, end up on the news. He's like, you're so nonchalant. I'm like, well, I'm just not about to waste energy and <laughs> you know, time on stuff that just don't make sense. <laughs> now you're right. God is the greatest. God is the greatest.